Now, if you've spent some time in the gallery searching for an item, because as you said, there was, as I showed you, there were you know, 5,000 items in there. If you find one that you really liked, and say you're about to start a unit on you know, polar bears or on whatever, and you know you're going to want to use that image over and over, and you don't want to have to go search for it every time you want it, there's a way to keep it right into your content so that you'll always have it for quick reference yourself. And I made a couple of folders myself in here of maps, for an example, if I was a social studies teacher, I might want to keep some maps in there that I knew I was going to be referring to all the time. So under my content, I was able to make a new folder. I won't make one right now. Mm -hmm. make one right now. It comes up there as an untitled folder. I can start creating my own sort of filing system, my own sort of organizational system up there. Bring up my keyboard again. I'll just make this a generic one just to quickly get that up there. But now I have another folder called Maps up there. And anytime I have items that I know I'm going to use all the time, I can put them right into that folder for quick reference. So let me show you how that looks. Let's pretend this is a map for a second. I can, I think, just drag it right there and put it in there. And now when I open up that folder, so that's a way for you, again, to start collecting things that you know you're going to want to use frequently so you don't have to go search for them every single time. Back up here. I'm over here and I'm yep. working away. I go to the gallery. This one up top that says my content, yep. that's the one that you customize for yourself. Oh, okay. I There's a drop down on that one yep. where you can make a new folder. All right, that's how you make the categories for the things for yourself. <coughs> All right. And the, the reason we're you know talking about this to begin with is the whole point of, as I said, the flannel board concept is that you're going to want to be able to move objects around and create things that are a little more interactive and have layering. But you kind of have to have a, a, a general working idea of where you go to get those parts and pieces from. And this is where you're going to start for a lot of the parts and pieces is in your gallery over here. It can be as complicated or as simple a place as you want it to be. You know, once you're a, a very facile user and you're comfortable, this will become second nature for you. In the beginning, you're probably just going to type in words, find pictures, and drag them on. I mean, that's, that's where you're going to start. When you find one you want to use, if you know you're going to want to pop it into my content, there's a, on that arrow, that drop down, you can add it to my content right from there as well, too. So you can drag it from the page, or if it's one you know you want, you can put it right in there. Again, that redundancy built right in, a lot of different ways to do it.